What's up all you beautiful people? Today I'm going to be doing a review of HBO's Last of Us Episode 2. I kind of gave my general thoughts on the show in my original video, so I'll link that right here. Yeah, I got it right this time. I'm not going to do a spoiler free area for these episodes anymore. I think it's just a bit easier to do it that way. Still be doing it for movies. As far as the TV show goes, I will be doing complete spoilers of the current episode that I'm reviewing. We're just kind of going to start by just kind of going through what happens in this episode. And I'll tell you what, the show's getting better. You know, the, the first episode was really, really good, which I was impressed with and really excited about. So I was like, okay, hopefully they can kind of keep this, keep this momentum going, keep things, keep things happening for people like me who have played the games. They are changing just little things here and there to make it, to keep it interesting for me week to week. So I'm not just kind of sitting there knowing every single thing that happens every time they walk around a corner. So the show kind of opens up with another flash Back, which is going to be kind of interesting. I'm wondering if they're going to continue to do this throughout the whole series, this flashing back to, you know, whatever it might be, whether it's just the start of the outbreak or like kind of how it's happening in different countries or whatever. But we go to Jakarta, Indonesia. Apparently that's where Patient Zero came from or anything, but they go to pick up this woman. She doesn't really know what's happening. She thinks maybe she's getting arrested or whatever's going on, but they just say she's a scientist. She's a scientist and she gets brought in because obviously they have a dead person that they shot in the head who became violent violent after getting bit by somebody. We're kind of seeing the start of the whole apocalypse happening here, which is something that did not happen in the games. We don't get flashbacks like this, because in the first episode, we had the flashback to the 60s, where the scientist guy was talking about how a fungus can evolve with temperatures warming on the planet to be able to grow in humans or whatever. And now in this one, we get to see that come to fruition. So we never got to see really the start of the apocalypse, like Patient Zero style in the game. So it was a pretty interesting thing to see. I kind of hope they continue with it, because that'll give me a lot more things for me to look forward to in these episodes. She basically just says, yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. We gotta just bomb these people. <laughs> <laughs> finally jump back into our main story with our main characters. It opens with Ellie waking up from sleeping and Joel and Tess are just sitting there kind of staring at her. <laughs> Being like, okay, why are you not a fucking zombie yet? So they go, go through kind of the whole thing that Ellie even went through in the first episode where Marlene, where Marlene was testing her and trying to make sure that she's not changing or whatever. And after three weeks, they finally decided, okay, this girl's special. We're taking her to some hospital or something on the other side of the country. They kind of come down to it. They kind of chill out and realize she's not, she's not changing. She's not getting infected. And we kind of go through something that they change in the TV show that they didn't have or that they had in the game is there used to be these spores kind of areas where you would have to put on your mask in the game and because if, if you didn't you would that you would get infected that way because it can be airborne. In this they said that they wanted to get rid of that in the yeah in the post show that they kind of have after the episode they said that they wanted to get rid of that because showing like fungus spores on screen apparently is harder than doing it in a game so they changed it to having kind of a fungal neural network basically if you step on a piece of fungus and it's connected like a mile away all of the infected around that area will get notified and that pays off later in this episode but they go into this uh building because they're trying to go meet up with the fireflies in this episode i believe just trying to get to that halfway point so they can get their battery or whatever and so they're going through the city again like this house and we finally get the introduction of clickers in the show so clickers if you don't know clickers are the kind of like the face of the last of us other than joel and ellie like they are these the freaky they're infected that have been infected for a few years so the fungus starts to grow out of their face and they become blind because of it so they use <laughs> they use echolocation to look around and see stuff just like a bat so they're that's why it hence the name clickers because they're clicking and walking around everywhere and man they fucking nailed clickers in this show because they the costume and makeup looks so good i thought for a second i was like man is this stuff cg this is pretty crazy looking no watching in the post show it's just makeup <laughs> they put this crazy thing on. and whoever they said that they specifically went out and hired people that were fans of the games so that they kind of had an idea of the way that clickers move because if because if you have played the games you know clickers move a very specific way it's not like normal zombies they have a very spastic kind of tweaky freaky little move to them man those things that they do in this i oh gotta keep almost calling it a game the things that they do in this show to create parallels with the game is just so impressive to me. They, it, it might be the best adaptation from a video game to a movie that I've seen so far because they add in small like video game element type things. They have one moment where they're hiding from the clickers and they're basically crouching and hiding down behind like a little cabinet crate thing. 
And it's literally the exact angle that you would be walking around and hiding from and ducking for cover from the infected in the game. It's just weird how they can make, it's, it's impressive how they can make that connection in this TV show. And this scene was actually pretty damn scary. I was, I was tense the entire time. The show is doing a really, really good job at building tension, even though I know what happens, I'm still very invested. So they get it and they finally kill their first clickers. Ellie gets scratched again. Also, Bella Ramsey is really starting to grow on me as Ellie. I think it's gonna, I mean, other than Pedro Pascal, cause he's just, he's just nailing it. I don't know, I just love him. He's such a great actor. All these new faces being characters that I know looking a different way and now looking the way that they do is gonna be, an adjustment for me and i already think that belly bella ramsey who is the girl that plays ellie is already kind of coming into herself for me because i'm i'm starting to buy it more i like her snarky comments i like the bullshit banter that they have back and forth i kind of like i like her personality it's a little bit different than ellie in the games i think this ellie seems a bit more let's say savage she seems a little bit more savage yeah that's that's really coming to fruition too so i'm pretty excited about that they get out of there they kill the clickers and they move on they get into the Capitol building where they're supposed to go meet the fireflies. Fireflies are all dead. I don't know why everywhere we keep meeting up with these fireflies, they're all just smoked. This is where you get the reveal that Tess is bitten like on her shoulder right here. She's dead. Another change that they make in the show compared to the video game is that in this scene, they're being chased by Fedra. So like the military guys, Tess has to sacrifice herself and stay behind and fight off the Fedra agents that are coming in there while Ellie and Joel run and get the hell out because Tess is infected. So she's like, here we go, sacrificial. In the show, they have that fungal network thing that I was talking about before. So Joel shoots one of the infected in the head and it kind of shows the fungus like grab the grab the body or whatever. So then it sends like the neural link to the a giant group of zombies that they showed earlier in the show that are all, I don't know what the fuck they were doing. They're all like crawling on the ground. I don't remember seeing anything like that in the game, but they all get alerted and they all start sprinting over to them. So Tess starts dumping oil and grenades and everything all along the ground, blows herself up. She has there's a really weird scene where she like makes out with one of the zombies. I don't know, that was weird. Honestly, I don't know why it had to be like, I don't know. It was just, it was, it was, it was a little weird. Then Joel and Ellie escape and they are moving on to go find Bill and Frank, Bill and Frank. So I live in some town uh, that the, that Joel has to go through to hopefully figure out what's going on and get help. And that's where the show ends. I, again, I'm so excited for next week. I think this show is just nailing every aspect. There are several direct like video game connections that they have that make it really relatable for people like, like me who have played the game. And on top of that, I think it's a really good intro still for people who aren't familiar with this world. Everybody that I'm talking to so far that hasn't played the games seems to really be liking the show, which makes me super excited. Hopefully episode three keeps up this momentum because I'm feeling fucking great about this show and I can't wait for next week. That being said, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.